Hello and welcome to Trial Join's presentation on drug accountability, uh, which is an important aspect of clinical research. So drug accountability is a very interesting topic related to clinical research, not only for clinical research sites, but also for the CRAs. Uh, drug accountability is very important to patient safety, as well as the overall quality of data for a clinical trial. So you really have to make sure that you are following the proper guidelines and you are uh, keeping track of things like what patient is getting which uh, investigational product um, and it's just very important to keep track of all that so that the data can reflect it and uh, last lastly you are accountable for the uh, drug on your property so you really have to be careful for this um, or you could risk ruining uh, your relationship and your reputation uh, in the eyes of the sponsor so the IP is obviously the investigational product, and that is the drug that the pharmaceutical company is testing. Uh, of course, it could be an active ingredient or a placebo. And there are certain accountability steps that you should always follow. The first step is in receiving the drug for the investigational product, you should log this into the uh, interactive voice response system or the interactive web response uh, system, depending on which system you use. Um, you must uh, make sure that they're not damaged and you must uh, uh, record when you received the uh, investigational product. Uh, next step would be placing the investigational product within a, a locked cabinet or storage. Everything should be locked in appropriate um, temperature so as to make sure that the drug can uh, be used in the optimal temperature. So there is uh, typically IP accountability logs. So after you've placed the drug in the cabinet or storage, um, you need to log it in a separate binder. You'll need to log every bottle or unit of the investigational product and leave the rest of the log blank just in case uh, you have other um, products that you are not supposed to be dispensed to uh, certain subjects. So when the patients randomize into the trial, it's time to start tracking uh, the randomization of the, the subjects. And uh, depending on what method you're using, the website will give you uh, the number, which refers to the number of the investigational product he or she received on a specified visit. This goes back to really keeping track of uh, the data and making sure that patients are um, receiving the medication the the appropriate medication and it's the job of the site coordinators to really make sure that uh, the appropriate bottle or the unit of investigational product is given to the correct uh, patients so returning the investigational product um, this should be done regardless of whether uh, the a uh, bottle is completely empty or not. The sponsor is definitely going to want uh, the leftover investigational product and anything that was related to the investigational product, such as the, um, the empty bottles. So uh, filling out uh, an accountability log should give the following information, which is the number of every single unit or bottle, the data when the investigational product was received, uh, the date when the product was assigned to a subject, um, which investigational product to which subject was given, how many pills were assigned to each subject, the date of return of the investigational product, um, how many pills or units of the investigational products were returned, and the investigational product that's returned to the sponsor at NCRO at the end of the study and date. Um, you have to remember that this is proprietary sponsor information, so they are going to want to have everything uh, well organized and well tracked. 
and logging data on time is extremely important sometimes coordinators forget um, because you know they're busy they're running around and when this happens it can easily turn into a huge mess um, obviously we are human we do uh, forget so sometimes uh, coordinators won't remember what investigational product was dispensed to which subject and this is uh, paramount to the study since we are tracking uh, the placebo versus the active ingredient so it's very important that you log the data as soon as it is received and when the study ends there is obviously a closeout visit um, all your investigational products should be accounted for you should have completely filled out the accountability log uh, return the bottles of the used uh, investigational product and unused investigational product that weren't assigned to any subjects once again proprietary information or proprietary um, product from the sponsor and the return units of the uh, investigational products should be shipped back to the CRO or the sponsor um, and the logs that you filled out for the appropriate study. And so the, the CRA is the monitor of the study. That means that the CRA is responsible for all the steps um, explained above. Uh, the CRA will not uh, be there to uh, will not be there to make sure that all the steps are correct. They will only monitor that their site is doing the drug accountability um, and that they're doing it correctly and importantly, <clears throat> more accurately. So really the CRA is there to make sure that uh, everything is being kept track of in the investigational product log, that all the investigational product is being handled uh, properly with um, the most care and then uh, for the closeout visit the CRA will ship the uh, investigational product back to the sponsor or CRO <clears throat> so for the uh, FDA there are uh, warning letters for drug accountability failures um, the the FDA will check and control if all your drug accountability processes and activities are accurate and if a site fails to comply, they will send you a warning letter. And some of the reasons you can receive a warning letter include uh, records of incomplete or incorrect distribution, um, adequate inventory of drugs was not maintained, lack of drug accountability, not keeping records or shipping invoices and dispensing records that show more drugs being administered than received. Um, issues between forms of drug administration and accountability, study medication is missing, um, or the CRO failed to supervise the clinical trial and ensure compliance. So drug accountability is an important field in clinical research. It is part of the industry and you should do everything in your power to make sure that you are being compliant and that you are properly taking care of the investigational product.